Let's get back to politics. The President and Congress both on vacation. I'm singling out Congress, which has gone away, having said they would stay. Look who's here. A former congressperson, Jason Chaffetz, former Utah congressman, and now a Fox News. You made a right move there. You're, <laughs> now you're a Fox News contributor. Well, thank you. It's an honor to be here. So. What's going on? I, I don't said know. said they would stay and work it out. Mitch McConnell went to great lengths in July on a Tuesday and said, hey, we're going to go and stay through the you know, middle of August because our calendar is so full. They excuse themselves on Thursday of that same week, and they're supposed to be in session this week, and now they're not. You would think that you would double down on your efforts and spend more time together when you're not able to produce a product. Think. So why Instead are they not saying, there? I, I, why are not? Why not? It's, it, to me, it's inexcusable. I just don't understand it. They are literally around the globe doing congressional delegation trips, but they're not working on the core and things that we have to get done. On our screen right now is the congressional calendar. Mm -hmm. There's only, tw as you pointed out, there's only 12 days where the House and the Senate are in session. That's before the debt ceiling deadline. Now, remember, if you look at that calendar, six of those 12 days are fly-in and fly-out days. So on a fly-in day, our votes in the House are not until 6.30 p.m., and on a fly-out day, they're usually gone by noon. So the biggest gauntlet that they have in Congress, debt ceiling, budget, funding the government, border wall, tax reform. I, you can't I, get it done. Uh, there is not a Republican on the planet that wants to fail on health care and then also go back and tell their voters, well, I just voted to raise the debt ceiling. How do you... Is, is it your opinion that we, we're not going to get health care reform and we're not going to get tax reform this year? I mean, I, maybe I'm putting you on the spot because that's going out well, on look, the look, I'm an But that's the way it looks to everybody. I, I, mm. I, I'm an eternal optimist. I hope what they do is look at things like the medical device tax and say, look, we've had a previous vote on that. Let's put that up for a vote and try to move that. But on the other issues, I really could, think Could you do it like that? Could you just single out one it. tax and say, right, get rid of it and vote on it? Well, you I think could do the that? American people, yes, what the American people are frustrated about. Remember what failed in the, in the Senate? We're supposed to be the most deliberative body on the face of the planet, the United States Senate. They could even pass at a 50 vote threshold to have a debate. Right. That's right. They didn't even get to the part where they actually got to introduce amendments and introduce things. So I hope what the key thing I think people at home need to watch for, does the rhetoric change from tax reform to tax cuts? Because there's a huge difference between sure. the two and I hope we're able to do tax reform as opposed to just a tax cut. Sir. Not a chance. I'm trying. You I'm know trying. there is no chance of full-scale tax reform this year. Will you admit that? Well, they should have had a plan. I don't care what they should have done, but they're not going to do it, are they? You would think they would have this ready to go in <laughs> pressing, December pressing. and that everybody yeah, would be crisscrossing the country trying to sell the plan so that when the vote came up in September. But that's what's not happening, and that's why right. I am pessimistic about September. Can they get that before? I don't know. I hope so. I hope so. But Well, you yeah. jump ship just at the right time. That's a fact. <laughs>